Harris, the newest member of the Governor's Commission, I want to... That's it, huh? That's all you got? No, it's not all I have. I... I want to propose an early intervention program for juvenile offenders. Good. Get them while they're young. Yeah, get them before they make a mistake that's too big and they can't fix it and before it's too late. Too late. <sighs> so what do you think? Dinah? I think that you are brilliant. <gasps> I think that you're brilliant and I think that the governor is lucky to have you and I'm lucky to have you and you are just the noblest, most beautiful, perfect man on the planet. No, I wouldn't go that far. I've done my share of not so noble things in my life. Really? Like what? And blow my image as Mr. Fantastic. I don't think so. Hey. Hey. Um, Ellen's. I'm sure he's upstairs, you know, doing blood tests. No, no, no Alan, Alan's not upstairs. Um, Alan's... When? Before your rounds. We lost him? No! No, what? Rick! I'm so... No, what? no! He's, he's home. He's smoking a cigar. He's home? Yes. But, but he, was, he was in a coma. Yes, Dr. Dr. Belford gave him a, an injection. It's Eldopa. It's been it's been tried before. It's temporary. He can go into a relapse. No, Rick. He he checked himself out of the hospital. He's his old what? self again. No, I meant that his new self. I don't know what? if it's the drugs or or what, but he's a completely different person. Oh, how's he a different person? Well, uh, he's he's happy. He's he's nice. It's uh, as if he died and they sent him back to earn his wings. Wow, sounds like an angel. Alan he's is. nice. Yeah. He's, um, he's, he's, sweet. he's pumped. Sweet. He's pumped full of endorphins, Beth. Of course he's Mr. Happy now because the drugs are in. When those drugs wear off, the horns are coming right back out. And are, are you saying that he'll be the way that he of was? Of course he is. Look, Beth, none of this stuff, it doesn't matter, okay? Because he's married to Doris. He's married to Doris. So we can still be together and raise your child. I mean, nothing has changed. Nothing. Not Rick. In a coma, mogul Alan Spaulding is awake and alert. No word on whether he's identified his shooter. Joshua Lewis is currently serving 15 years for the crime. On the national front... Alan's awake. <sighs> if he remembers, then he'll remember that it wasn't Josh who shot him. <sighs> Riva? I didn't mean to scare you. It's just, I... Josh isn't the only one who's being sent away. I am not going anywhere until I talk to the warden. He's not here, ma'am. Well, then I want to talk to whoever's in charge. Josh Lewis was assaulted in here. According to who? You saw it with your own eyes. He can barely walk. Fine. I'll look into it, but you need to go. No, I am not going anywhere until I know that he's safe. Let her stay. And you are? Alan's falling. <laughs> oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God, it's a miracle. <laughs> yes, Cassie, it is a miracle. <laughs> Family. Destiny. Light. Hope. Charity. Friendship. Love. Faith. Laughter. Joy. Kindness. Understanding. Peace. Giving. There is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own.
What was that? Passion. And I'm just getting wrapped up. What do you say we just go to bed? That is, if you can take some time off from the crime commission. What I'm about to do to you is a crime in several states. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, Celis interrupt us. Yeah. Don't move. <sighs> Mallet. Hey, Frank, what's going on? When did this happen? Does Cassie know? Uh, right. no, no. You know what, Frank? I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. No. No, I'll leave right now. I'm on it. Leaving? Yeah. Alan came out of his coma. I need to get a statement, see if he can name the shooter. Oh, that's it? He's back? He's talking? Well, we don't know what he remembers yet. Oh. I love you. To be continued. When I get back. I love you, too. Now hurry home. But he'd never leave. I try to understand. Alan just woke up. I can't just <clears throat> walk out on him. Walk out on him? Beth, the man is married to another woman, right? You know, I, I think I, I have everything here. Do you know if he left anything else? Yes. You, Beth, he left you, didn't he? That was the old Alan. Alan will always be Alan. No. Rick. I, I don't know if it's if it's drug induced or not, but he has a completely different attitude. He wants to make things right, and I can't just. Best brains. That man left you. He divorced you for Doris. Then he kicks you out of the house. He did not kick me out of the house. He and, and, and he he married Doris so so that he could avoid prosecution. Be right exactly for because he he killed uh, Tammy Winslow, right? Okay, well I'm not gonna try to justify. Then why would that. you go back to that bet? Tell me why. He made you a promise, right? Like he always does. Tell me one promise a man has ever kept. Okay, Name let's what? not throw stones here, huh? Didn't you promise Mel that you would love, honor, and keep her, forsaking all others? You're the one who told me to get out of that marriage, and you said if I did, we could be together and raise that child, didn't you? Didn't you say that? Y yes, yes, I, I I know I know that, but. But what? I'm just, I'm just asking for a little time, that's all. Time? Time? Beth, just, just the other day you were saying that we were running out of time. I want you, Rick. I want you now, Rick. You practically threw me down on the bed. Yeah, I, I know that. I, I, I know. So what's the rush? I mean, why were you so anxious to see me? What kind of game are you playing with me? It smells so good. Okay, no Coopers. That is a good Does thing. that mean that they had something to do with you hiding out in the back of my car? Yes, I'm trying Can to find out information. I want oh, so are they super on Alan here? Spalding, please. Sweetie, you know what? I can't. I don't have time for these games. You heard. Alan has come out of his coma, which means Josh could be released. Yeah, I yes, know. I'm holding. I, and I hope he is because I know what it's like to be brawling well convicted. You know what? Being grounded isn't anything like being sent away to prison. I wasn't grounded. I was sent away to eat beetles and berries. What are you talking? Yes, boot camp. I'm still I'm holding. About boot camp. Yeah, a survival team place. Kids die there. Wait a minute. Harley sent you to a, a, a yes, boot camp. Yes, yes. She sent me away to sweat and suffer and freeze. And that looks good. No, I. You know what? I'll just. I'll, I'm what gonna call you back, sweetie. No, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. So Harley sent you away, and you somehow managed to slip away. Yeah, that's why I was in the back of your car. Don't tell anyone, okay? Uh, Daisy, 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 What, do Daisy, you want to hike 10 miles in the desert, Reva? Where is there even a desert around here? I thought for some reason that you out of everybody would help me. I can't depend on anyone. Just for Daisy. Care. I never should have come to Daisy, you. just wait. Daisy. It's him. It's him. It's him. He's Who's here? here. Who's here? It's the guy. The, the, the sadistic freak. Okay, um... Please, 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 if you love me, just like a little bit, don't give me away. It is so great to see you on your feet. <laughs> and it's great to be on my feet, even if I have to use this cane a little. But how long ago did you wake up? Well, not long, but I, I heard about Josh, so I came down to see him. So you know, then, you know that Josh was convicted of shooting you? Yeah. 
Like Rip Van Winkle, when I came out of my sleep, I realized that the world I lived in had completely changed. But I want you to know something, Cassie. I have changed, too. So then you'll go to the police and you'll tell them the truth. Forget about the police. Forget? No. Uh, you have to go to the authorities. I mean, Josh isn't safe in here. You need to go to them and tell them that uh, you provoked I've him. I've or... handled the entire matter. You see, I've got my lawyers on it. Your lawyers? Yes. Uh, why would you need lawyers? Well, for Josh. And I can't wait to see his face when he discovers that. You see, he deserves so much more than he's getting in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> You say you've changed. Wow, you really, uh, you've actually changed for the worse. For the worse? What made me think that you could ever tell the truth? You are the same cold-blooded bastard who killed my daughter. And now you just want to dance on her grave by extending Josh's sentence? Cassie, you don't understand. Oh, I understand no. completely. You want him to serve the full 15 years. You'd probably fake your own death if it meant he got more time, wouldn't you? No, no, no. You, you, I wish no. to God you had never opened your eyes. I was right the first time. No, you, you don't deserve to You've live. got to stop. Climbed up my balcony. I used to be a pretty solid second story man. I guess I haven't lost my touch. Or would you prefer that I just burst in on you and your husband? I prefer if you go back on that balcony and take a swan dive into the pool. Well, the pool's empty. Exactly. Now, you know what? If you don't mind, I'd like you to go. Actually, I do mind. We have a deal. The transfer of several million from Matt and Mummy's account into mine. And in exchange, I let your superhero retain his cape. Somewhere under a rock. Some little animal is lonely because you've crawled out from underneath that rock. Well, we used to inhabit the same rock. But I'm sick of living under rocks. All those years in prison and now I'm just scraping by. I promised myself I'd never live that way again, that I'd reach higher. Whose key is that? Matt and Vanessa's. You stole my mother's key? Please. I made a copy. She's still got one. Yeah, well, you're going to give me it. Yeah, so that you can meet with Mr. Finch, the rep from the Cayman Islands. He thinks he's seeing your mother today upstairs in her suite. Uh, naturally, I scheduled an appointment when I knew Vanessa would be otherwise engaged. No way. I will not. You can't make me do it. This is never going to work. Hey, try to be more positive. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Think happy thoughts, like how happy you'll be when I have the money and you can pay your debt. Cyrus? I believe in you. I have total confidence you can pull this off. Vanessa. Hello, Daisy. Long time no see. Hi. I'm Daisy's grandmother, Reva. Reva? Uh-huh. Reva Shane. Yeah. Why? Am I in trouble, too? <laughs> No, my buddy Buzz has been talking about you for years. Maurice Payton. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Payton. I had no idea that you were a friend of Daisy's granddad. I forgot that part? Yeah, what else have you forgotten? I suppose that she's supposed to be at camp with me. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry about that, that I ran away from you right then. But, um, you know, no matter what my mom might be saying, I really, I can't go to this camp right now because I have other responsibilities. Uh, you do? Uh, yeah, because, I mean, well, if uh, Josh might be getting out, then you're going to need help around the house. Errands, right? Yeah, well. Uh, errands, yeah. Uh, Mr. Payton, Officer Payton, whatever, um, I realize that my granddaughter needs to be a little more focused, but maybe there's another way. I'm afraid that's not your call, ma'am. Uh, Daisy's mother wants her daughter to understand that her actions have consequences. Oh, believe me, I know all about actions having consequences, but Daisy's just a young girl. And... The younger the better. At this age, they need rules, discipline, and boundaries. They won't always have a cool, fun granny to look after them now, will they? Granny? 
You don't do too well with authority, do you? This Freeman? isn't about me. I know that, do you? Well, excuse me, Mr. Payton, Officer Payton, whatever you are. I think I know what my granddaughter needs better than you do. And it's not marching ten miles into the woods with someone screaming. Stays. Daisy will be staying right here with me. All right. I'm afraid I can't allow that, ma'am. Well, unless you have a court order, you can and you will. Because I'm the cool, fun granny, remember? I'm going to call your mother, Daisy. And Miss Shane, here's my card in case you need to change your course of action. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oh God, you're so cool. You're so cool. I love you so much right Woo! now. Woo! Yeah, you know what? <laughs> what? I'm going to hold on to his card, just in case. Do I make myself clear? Absolutely, positively clear, yes. I'm going to be such an angel. Don't even worry. Uh-huh. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm just, um, I'm confused. I, I really thought that, you know, this was going to be a wake-up call when Tammy died. I, I, the baby. I, I just... Didn't this have an effect on you? Yeah. Of course it did. Then why would you go back to this man? I, I don't know. Maybe it's where I belong. You deserve better than that. Maybe I don't. I know who you are, Beth. I know who you really are. No, no, you don't, Rick. You know who I used to be, who you want me to be. Beth Rains, you can be that little girl again that was full of hope. Yes, you don't have to live in despair. The girl that's what you're that doing you knew right now. in high school is gone. And she's not coming I'm back. I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her right now. No. And I saw her all the time okay, when no, I was Okay, no, no, Rick. Rick, it was great, okay? It was great. And and I thought that it would make me feel real, but it wasn't real. It was for no, me. No, no. It was real. No, it was a fantasy. We were pretending that the last 20 so what, years never what happened, happened, but they did Alan happen. made you a better offer. How much money was it, Beth? It's not like that. Oh, yeah? Then how is it? I have to think of Lizzie, and I have to think of James. Oh, yeah? What about the baby you're carrying? What about this innocent little baby that Alan will corrupt? What about that baby? I haven't forgotten about that baby. Rick, come on. Come on. Do you, do you remember? Do you remember when we were we were in a room? We were just in a room like this one. Do you remember how how exciting it was? Yeah. Did you that? Yeah, there's something. I'm not interested in another tumble in the hospital bed. I want permanence. I want something with substance. If you don't want it, you better okay, tell me. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you. Um, I'll tell you what I do. We'll meet at your place later, and I'll make it all up. I to don't you. think so. Come on. You know if you. If you asked for some time with Mel, I would give it to you. I, I just, I just need some closure before you I move on. You will never get closure, Beth, because it's a commitment. It's making up your mind. I just need to see Alan, and then we'll talk, okay? Okay. Just plan to keep your clothes on, and I'm not going to wait long. I thought coming out of my coma was my wake-up call. You see, I was filled with goodness and, and kind feelings for all humanity. But that was nothing but an illusion. Now, or maybe the result of some excellent pharmaceuticals, huh? Because it was your slap, Cassie. Your slap brought me back to reality. The world isn't waiting for me to do some good deed or make this a better place. As if you ever could. No, as if I ever could, right. The world is filled with people who are ungrateful, vindictive, fighting over every little scrap they can get. But what you reminded me of, Cassie, is I am the alpha dog, and I always get the bump. Thank you for that. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Alan. But if you have your memory back, then you know Josh didn't shoot you. You have the power to set him free, and that is exactly what you're gonna do. Really? Uh-huh. Or what? Or I will send you right back into that coma. Find your light sponsored by CoverGirl Radiance. I don't want to be younger, I just want to look it.
My light is something that's very simple, but it's taken me a long time to figure it out. Um, it's really just simply prayer. When I pray or I'm around prayer, that's something that just lights me up and um, makes me feel calm, serene, and at peace. What's your light? Go ahead, hit me. The women's prison is just across the street, Cassie. Cassie? Cassie. Hit me, come on, I'm not even gonna Cassie, move. Cassie, don't. Stop. Tell us what's going on here. Ellen knows Josh was innocent and he could help, but instead he just came to gloat. Oh yeah, that's why I came here. Ellen, stop, stop making it worse. Hey, Cassie? Cassie, attacking Ellen won't change things for Josh. Okay, give me the cane. No. Give me the cane, you don't wanna do this, come on. Arrest this woman. For what, Alan? For what? Assault! I didn't see anything. I didn't see it. Did you see anything, guard? Oh, boy, the world hasn't changed a bit, has it? Still filled with hypocrites. People who talk about justice and goodness, but you're just like all the rest of them, Alan. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's good to have you back, Alan. So tell me, any good dreams while you're out? Dreams? Yeah, I had a dream. It was only a dream. Uh -huh. So what about your wedding night? Get to the point. Cassie says you remember what happened, is that true? Yes, I remember saying I do, kissing the bride and then going out for a cigar. Uh-huh. And then what? That it all goes blank. Liar. So are you saying you don't remember when you were shot or by whom? The doctor says the memories don't rush back. Traumatic injuries to a repressed for That a is a lie. Time. Alan, that is a lie. Why would you do this? What could you possibly gain from punishing Josh? Well, what is he ever doing? Apparently, do? a jury found him guilty of shooting me. Now far be it from me to get in the way of justice. Let me go. Easy. No, no, Cassie, let me Cassie, go. Cassie. Calm down. What are you gonna do? You gonna kill him? It's okay. Now listen, there's still a chance he could remember. There's still a chance he might tell us. You just traded one drill instructor for another. I'll take you any day. Really? That Officer Peyton might have been a real softy compared to me. I've got all sorts of things in mind for you. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to make you do my laundry. <gasps> oh, no, no. Hello. Mom, don't it's okay. Cassie, Cassie, where are you, honey? I've been trying to reach you. You're where with Alan? No, I'm on my way. Come on. What, where are we going? Let's just go. Lynn, uh, I'll take care of it later. Okay. Where are we going? Jail. Oh. Oh, this is never going to work. Sure it will. If I hadn't met your mother, I'd never know the difference. You know what the difference is? I'll tell you what the difference is. My mother would not hesitate to throw you off the balcony and snap your neck. She's always protected me no matter what. And this is how I repay her. Oh. Is she? You have no heart. You know that? No heart! Well, where was your mother's heart when she sent me to prison? <laughs> if it costs her a fortune to make amends, so be it. Smile, Vanessa. Your bank is here. Cyrus! Good luck. Finch, how do you do? You're right on time. Please, come in. Oh, thank you. Thank do, you. It's very in. nice to finally meet you, Mrs. Reardon. I must say, you look so remarkably young for your age. <laughs> uh. Oh, you're very kind. Botox. <laughs> Had a few nip and tucks, Matt's Christmas gift to me. He said, honey, would you like a fur coat or do you want a facelift? And I said, I'm going to take both. <laughs> A little bit of humor. Please sit. Of course. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, Mr. Finch, uh, as you know, Matt and I are rather excited about this whole entire project. But 
The construction cannot begin until our money from the investors is deposited into your bank. And, you know, that's why I asked for the transfer slips, of course. Which I have, indeed. All I need is your signature. Oh, good, good. And the money will be transferred... Yes. To uh, Springfield National Bank, as you specify. Excellent. Wonderful. Now, uh, I do sign here, right correct? Here, right here. Okay. Is that all? That's it. I have everything I need. Well, good, good. You know, it's 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 an absolute delight to, doing pleasure, doing uh, business with you. Mr. Finch, is there a problem? I'd say so. Who's Dinah? This place has gone to hell while I was gone. Now, I want that bar stopped. Our heads are going to roll. Alan, you shouldn't be drinking that stuff. I'll drink, I'll smoke, I'll do whatever I damn please. Do you want to end up back in the hospital? Tell me something, Beth. Did you plan my funeral? What color casket did you pick out for me? Or did your boyfriend, Rick Bauer, want my carcass burned and ashes thrown all over the sea, huh? Are you joking? Are you going to answer my question? <laughs> what happened to Mr. New Lease on Life? Mr. New Lease on Life was chemically induced and died of an overdose of good intentions. You got a problem with that? Actually, no. What's going on? I heard Alan woke up. Yeah, you just missed him. Missed him? He was here? Yeah, he was here. And I thought he was here to actually help Josh, but he's not. He's the same bastard he always was. He's pretending he doesn't know what happened. Well, maybe he doesn't know. No, Reva, I mean, you can see it in his eyes. He knows who shot him. He knows it wasn't Josh. Well, then he's protecting somebody and letting Josh take the rap. Or this is just fun for him. Who knows? I don't know. All I know is that we got to do something because he's in danger here. I'm telling you, I'm starting to get afraid that he's not going to make it out of here. Oh, my. Yes, don't you remember who Dinah is? Remember? Well, she's my security passcode. I gave it to you the other day on the phone. Dinah's my daughter. She's the light of my life. Oh, yes. I, I do remember now, but... Your security passcode is not your signature. Shall we try this again? Oh, Mr. Finch, I am so sorry. I don't know where my head is today. You know, Dinah, she can be a handful sometimes. I understand. <laughs> sometimes that's all I can think about, you know? Thank you. I will fax this in, and the transfer should go through immediately. Excellent. It's been an absolute delight, Mr. Finch. I, I, I will call Matt, let him know that, uh, that this has all taken place. It's been a delight for me, too. You know, you must come to the Cayman sometime. With your husband, of course. Oh, I will. I will do that. You have a safe trip, please. Thank you. Are you happy? You happy now? Very. <laughs> I thought you preferred Mr. Good and Benevolent, huh? He scared me. Yeah, well, he scared me, too. It was tempting to think of you as a gentle shepherd tending your flock. But I don't know, you're just much more like a wolf devouring lamb. Please don't use the name wolf. I'm married to one. Mm, Alan, you mean you don't love her? I'd love it if she were in a car going over a cliff like Jonathan Randall. So how much longer? However long it takes to get rid of her and her little dog, too. Hmm. So what happened to all your plans to make things right? Oh, I had, I had good plans. I went over to, to prison to, to see Josh. When I got there, Cassie slapped me and accused me of enjoying his misery. Do you? I didn't when I went, but I do now. Alan, let me ask you something. Don't do ask me if I remember who shot me. Which means that you do. 
You don't trust me, do you? I want to. Well, your instincts are right. Well, you were in a coma, fighting for your life. I've been living a lie. Ever kiss me again? I lit the old fire, did I? No, that fire went out years ago. Okay, you will get your money, but that's it. This one, smell it. Get out now! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Yeah, Dinah, what are you doing here? I'm just trying on some of my mom's things. Oh, uh, why? Because I uh, need a dress for the governor's party. Is Vanessa here? No. How's Josh? <sighs> Don't ask. Anyway, on the way back over here, I got a call from your mom's bank. Apparently, there's been a large transfer of funds that just came through. So? So, the bank thinks there might be a problem. Well, why would they call you? Because I asked them to. Because ever since your ex-partner in crime showed up, I've been expecting him to pull something. Well, why would Cyrus transfer money into my mom's account? So he can take it out. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's good, but he's not that good. Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But I have to check it out. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess. It's okay. Don't worry about the Cyrus character, okay? Because if he is trying to scam your mom, I will nail him, and I'll send him back to prison. There's no baby. I've been faking the pregnancy. It was the only way that I could remain in the house and stay close to you. Because of Doris? I used it for leverage at first, but then... Well, the more that I pretended to be pregnant, the more that I wanted to be pregnant. Because when we were expecting, we were so happy. Hmm. Huh. You know, I used to love you, Beth, because of your beauty and your big heart. But I find you now extremely exciting and I think a perfect match for me <laughs> you're not angry no no I'm not angry with you at all I, I I am disappointed about the baby I think you know how much I wanted a second chance to raise a child well um, maybe we could try again Really? I mean, you want to? Yes, I do. Do you? I always wanted to, Beth. You're the one who... A baby, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I woke up. A second chance at redemption. Oh, first, we gotta get rid of Doris Wolf. We'll build a fortress around us. Have all of our loyal family members, Elizabeth, Alexandra, James, Alan Michael around us, and then. What's wrong? Oh, um, nothing. Tell me. <sighs> Alan, I, I don't. I don't want to upset you. But Alan Michael is not the loyal son that he's pretending to be. The minute you slipped into a coma, he tried to take your place. First in the boardroom and... Go on, go on. He tried to seduce me. And when I refused, he threatened... And to do what? To get rid of you. 
He tried to make good on it. He, he convinced the doctor to up your dosage of L-Dopa, knowing full well that it could kill you. I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to hurt you, Alan, but I, I just think that you need to know this. I'm glad you told me. Well, I'll take care of Alan Michael, and then I'll take care of Doris. Uh, uh, Alan, Alan. Uh, what do you say that we uh, go to work on that baby right now, huh? Hmm. No, I guess we can just go up to my room then, huh? Don't you mean our room? <laughs> You're late, Beth. I'm just trying to think of anyone in here who might be Josh's enemy. I don't know. Maybe he refused to cooperate with one of the gangs. Did he say that? No, he didn't say anything. He won't even admit he's been hurt. Well, then he's trying to protect himself by maintaining a code of silence or well, something. Well, I don't care about any prison code of silence. I need to find out how badly hurt he is and who threatens him, and, and I gotta get in Cassie, there. Cassie, even if you could get in there, he might not talk, at least not in front of the guards and the inmates. You gotta figure out a way to get him alone. Right. Right, I need to get in to see him alone, and I know just how to do that. A conjugal visit. I think the only people who are allowed those kind of visits are husbands and wives. Exactly! So I'll marry him. <laughs> Reva, you're a genius. Next on Guiding Light. Who knows where that money is right now? Either you tell them or I will. You'll never get away with it. Remember me? Why don't you just admit it? It's not Spalding Enterprises you're interested in. It's Alan Michael Spalding. What is wrong with me? I am going to claim the things that are rightfully mine. All of them. Sorry, but they're mine now. We're continuing what we did in Biloxi, and so that feeling can be carried through because now those people who weren't at Biloxi with us but saw what we did, they're now a part of that. It feels good to be out here working and, uh, and to know that we're making a difference in these people's lives. We all did something together. It came out great. Just a, a good feeling. And I would love to do it again. There's a lot to do, and we can all do it together. Watch Guiding Light on Friday, April 13th to see what happened in Norfolk, Virginia. This has been Guiding Light. Sisters on crystal meth. A desperate situation. I want to help you. Get your hands off me. Calls for extreme measures. You're coming back to Oakdale with us, or we're calling the police. Then a sinister plan. Haven't you ever wanted to stick it to somebody who's hurt you? That's why you're here. Is set in motion. I can convince people that I'm Gwen. As the world turns weekdays.